Do you want to know some cool plumbing tricks and tips to save you time and money? Now, I've got a couple of tips and tricks that I do when I pull up, but also I've got a couple of tools that I think the investment is well worth it because they're going to save you money by saving you time. And if you're a plumber trying to make money, your time is one of the most valuable things you have. First of all, thanks to the people over at Ferguson. Y'all know we've teamed up with Ferguson because of what they do for the plumbing industry. Now I'm trying to help people get into the trades all the time. I teamed up with Ferguson because they are actively working to help recruit people into the trades, help plumbers get better and help plumbing company owners make more money. And to me, that's what it's all about, helping other people. So if anything in this video you think you may want, go to ferguson.com. Okay, so first of all, let's start with a couple of tips. And this is one thing that it surprises people. When I'm driving down the street headed to a job, I'm already looking for manholes. I'm looking for meter boxes. Because when I come up to somebody's house, I want to know, are the cleanouts going to be in the front yard? Are the cleanouts going to be in the backyard? Or what if I'm looking for a water leak? Where's the cutoff? By looking at some houses up by the house, I can see that most of these houses have a valve box. If so, that's going to tell me about where it should be. Now, a lot of these plumbers plumb these houses all the same. So the valve box may be in the exact same spot on every single house. Plumbers are a smart breed. We don't dig two separate trenches for water and sewer. We know if we dig a sewer line and we shelf it, we can run our water line in the same ditch. So I'm always thinking about this when I'm pulling up to houses. Now, if I can't find anything in the street, I may drive down the alley just to see, are there manhole covers? Are there meter boxes back there? These are things that I may need to know once I'm in the house. So it's always good to know where they're at before you get there. That way, when you come in and talk to the customer, you already know more about their house than most of them do. Okay, now you saw me have these up here a while ago. These are two of my new favorite tools. And I'm gonna tell you why, because these things help us save money. Now, first of all, we've actually got a pro press from Rigid. And I love this because this literally helps plumbers save labor. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love solder joints. And I think ProPress literally is just as good, but the cool thing about it is ProPress helps us cut the labor so much faster. I've seen some big commercial jobs go to ProPress and they can do this because they save a lot of money on the labor. The fittings are a little bit more, the tools are a little bit more expensive, but if you can save labor on every single job you go on, or even half the jobs you go on, the tool's gonna pay for itself in no time at all. Now the other one, the Kinetic Water Ram by General Pipe Cleaners. Guys, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Once I got it, I fell in love with it. This is a plunger on steroids. This thing literally puts a jet of air down through it and cleans out anything that could be unclogging that toilet or possibly even the lead bin or Santee down below. Now, if it's down in the Santee, remember, you're gonna have a vent and it may not blow everything out, but a plunger wouldn't work at that point either. Now, I love this and I've wanted one of these for a long time. I actually bought one of the original versions that had like the CO2 tank in it. And I gotta tell you, I wasn't real happy with it. So when I saw this, I got excited because this is something to me, every plumber should have on their truck all the time. Okay, so I gotta tell you, this is pretty cool. I love the fact that it comes with different cones that you might use in different situations. Look at your drain and go through their tool selection guide to look and see what you think you'll need. That's pretty logical that you're gonna want a rubber seal that will actually seal off the drain on this end. Now to get started, number one, you've got a Schrader valve here. You wanna make sure everything's tied in there. This is your handle to release the air pressure built up inside the cylinder. So what you do is pump it up to 10 pounds. And literally, it takes about 10 pumps to get it there. You've got a gauge right here that'll show you exactly where you're at. And then listen, as I squeeze the trigger, you release 10 pounds of pressure. This is a solid push. And here's what I like about this. Think about it. When you've got a plunger, you are actually pushing and pulling. So whatever clogs in there, you may just be moving it a couple of inches at a time. Push it in, pull it out. Push it in, pull it out. That may not get you what you need. What I like about this is you pump it up, you push it, it's gonna push it further down the drain. I really do like this, and this is something that I've wanted for a while. Let me tell you, when I got it, I got really excited. 
this thing really does work. And with all the different attachments, it can actually let you get into smaller drains and bigger drains that actually just a burst of air can clean out for you. I gotta tell you, the kinetic water ram to me is a really cool tool. There's a lot of plumbers out there that'll tell you they don't even use a plunger anymore. They go straight for a closet auger. But I've gotta tell you, I love walking in with this. This kit is nice and it comes in so handy to walk in and have a tool like this to get something unclogged is great. Then I can run a camera down it and see what caused that clog and see if there's any other things that need to be addressed. Now, another one of my favorite tools. Now, when you're investing in power tools, you wanna to make sure that it's a wise investment. Don't just buy stuff to have because it's cool to have, because it's cool to have on your truck. You wanna make sure that if you're investing in tools, you're investing in tools that you're gonna get an ROI on, a return on your investment. Meaning, if I'm gonna spend money on a tool, that tool needs to be able to make me money. Now, what I like about the Rigid RP350 is this brings ProPress right to our hands. Think about it, installing a water heater. Now you can literally cut your labor down by using ProPress fittings to get it done faster. Now, don't get me wrong, I love solder. I love a torch, I'm an old school plumber. But like I said earlier, this is making it where plumbers, everyday plumbers, can literally get in and hook things up in half the amount of time. Literally, ProPress is gonna be the thing that changes the way we do things. Now, what I like about it is the fact that with ProPress fittings, there is no reduction in fitting. ProPress and Rigid have put the tools together to make it where, look, it's really affordable nowadays. Now, when it first came out, I bought the biggest Rigid ProPress tool that they had and the Megapress jaws for it. Now, what I like about the RP350 is it's not very heavy, it's easy to move around, it turns so you can get into any situation, get your gun in, get it in there, and guys, I gotta tell you, this is gonna cut your labor bill in half. So let me ask y'all, if you're not already using ProPress, I wanna know why not. What is it that's keeping you from going to ProPress? Now, like I said, I like solder, I'm an old school plumber, but this has literally changed my mind. This helps us get things done faster. Now, as a residential service company, or even when I was a superintendent for a large mechanical contractor, we were always looking at what can we do to save labor. Labor is one of your most expensive and biggest problems. Reason being, labor is the thing we can't control. We can control our cost. We know our cost up front. We know what tools and materials and things like that are. But labor is what can kill us. If we don't give our guys everything they need to go in and do the job quicker, faster, better, guys, we're hurting ourselves as plumbing company owners. So to me, the Rigid RP350 is one of the tools that literally can help us get in quicker and get things done. And the neat thing about it is if I've got a guy going to a job and I know, hey, look, he's going to be there a while. He's got a lot of joints to make. With one hour pro pickup, I can literally make sure that he can have this. He can run by Ferguson, pick this up and have it on the way to his job. Now, I don't have these on all my trucks yet, but that's what I'm headed towards. And the cool thing is I can also text Ferguson directly to the counter and say, hey, Wes, have you got the Rigid RP350 with JAWS in stock? I'm sending a guy to pick it up. And it can be ready on the counter when my guy gets there. Guys, anything that we can learn and do as plumbers, as plumbing company owners, and as residential service providers, we need to be doing it. We need to learn everything we can to speed up the process for us to help us save labor on every job we do. Plumbing costs as much as it is already. Why add more to cover stuff like this? We need to realize if I invest in tools like this, I can save labor and that is gonna help me make more money, not by raising my prices. So anyway, let me know down below, are you using the Kinetic Water Ram? These are two tools that I think literally change the way we do business and help us make money faster. Anyway, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you're not using them, let me know why not. Number one, this video is sponsored by Ferguson. Thank you so much to them. If you want either one of these tools, check out ferguson.com. And remember, with one hour pro pickup and text to the counter, you can find out, do they have what you need before you ever get there? Can they have it pulled and ready when you pull up? Saving time is saving you money. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.